Do you want to be a pro in Roblox Arsenal? Let's start with five tips that most people know, but some new players might not. So, let's start with tip number one. You are actually slower with your weapon than you are with your knife. So, if I run like this, it's quite fast, yep. Yeah. But if I run like this, it's even quicker. You might not notice it, but it's there. Holy fuck! So, there is guns like this Springfield rifle that I have here, where when you shoot, there is quite a lot of reload time. So what pros do is basically shoot and then swap to your knife really quickly, swap back. Just like that, and that is way quicker. So we're gonna go outside for this one. There is some guns in the game with special abilities. I'm gonna take this Barrett for example, which you might think is a sniper, but this has a special ability where you can get on top of things. So you can use that to get on top of the roof you want to get on. You can use it to get some cool clips. There's probably some people out there that still don't know that trick. Okay, now we're in a game, guys. Tip number four, use walls to your advantage. The amount of players that are out in the open, myself included, it is really not good to be out in the open. So what you should do, guys, is use your walls to your advantage. I know that was really laggy gameplay, but you get the point. Get behind walls. Get some cover behind you. So if you're going to get... There's a person there. There you go. So I just pre-moved him. I pre-peeked him. And then you go there. And then you've just tricked three people just by standing behind a wall and doing a bit of extra movement. Tip number five was simply what I just did. And that is simply pre-move where they're going to be. Okay, so behind a wall. So right here. There's a guy. And I killed him quite quickly because of... Well, I didn't actually. That, they're the five starter tips for new people that haven't played the game much. If you're enjoying this guide so far, then please like the video. And also, consider joining our Discord server and following me on all my socials. We're trying to build a community and revive Arsenal, hopefully. So if you guys could do that and help out, that would be amazing. Let's move on to five settings you need to change. So settings are in the bottom right of your screen. If you're mobile, I am not sure. So the first setting we want to change is our FOV. So FOV or field of view is a massive part of your Arsenal settings. So 70 FOV is the lowest you can go. And that looks like this. Everything feels quite close. This is how everyone used to play Arsenal back in the day. And 120 FOV looks like this. Now, this type of play feels very weird to me, and I would never play on 120, but it might suit you. You don't know. So, fiddle around with this, guys. Most people go for in between 80 and 90. I personally go for 85. So, the next setting is enemy outlines. So, you want to go to graphics, then down here, enemy outlines. You turn that setting on, you change it to whatever color you want. If we go for, like, a nice pink or a little purple, you join the game. And then, you should be able to see an outline around the players, like that. Doesn't look very good because of the blue, but there is an outline behind the players. The next one is pretty simple, your crosshair. Uh, specifically the colour, because Rolf haven't actually implemented anything else yet. Popular colours are green, black, red, but you can choose whatever you want here. I like to go with green. So, these last two are kind of cheating, but shadows want to be off and particle physics. These two settings need to be turned off if you want performance only. If you are running on 300 FPS, that's absolutely fine. But if you are struggling to gain a decent FPS so you can play on, I would recommend turning these two off. And finally, your sensitivity and DPI. DPI is how fast your mouse tracks, basically. Um, most mice only have a few default settings, but you can play around with that too. I mostly bother with the sensitivity. Mine's at 0.12, but it changes quite a lot. So, you guys got to fiddle around with this and make sure you choose your perfect sensitivity. Next, we're going to move on to factors that come into play. Now, number one is your FPS slash device. If you're playing on a really old phone or a PC that has parts from the ancient Egyptian time, chances are you're not going to be great at Arsenal because your FPS will suffer badly. What advice could I give you to get as much FPS as possible? Not sure because this isn't an FPS boosting video. If you want to watch one of those, there is plenty on YouTube. 
So the next factor is your setup. So if you have a very small desk or an office mouse, office keyboard, chances are you're not going to be very good at Arsenal. Like the, there is a bar to hit. If you get a decently sized desk and some decent equipment for gaming, then you will definitely have a higher bar to hit. We mentioned it before, but your settings um, obviously have a factor. If you keep changing settings, chances are you're going to just reset how good you are. Once you've found the perfect settings for you, you should not be changing them a lot. If you do, then that is just going to hinder your Arsenal improvement. And finally, your ping. Now, most people probably don't know what ping is, but it's essentially how close you are to the servers. But if you do live in a country that is really far out and doesn't have good internet, and isn't very close to any of the servers, chances are you're going to get 500 ping and everything will feel like it's five seconds delayed. So once you've got all that down, you just want to simply play the game. And here are five things that could really help you improve a lot faster. So number one is don't change your settings much. Now I'm saying this for the people who find the absolute perfect settings, which most people do not. So until you find your perfect settings, Keep changing them. Once you find the settings that are seriously like the greatest you've ever felt, then you can absolutely stick with those until you have mastered the settings. Number two is simply play the game for long times consistently. It's better to play the game for, for 20 minutes a day than three hours and then leave it for a week. Number three, if you get bored of Arsenal, just simply play other FPS games. That will just help you get better at the game. I'm going to give an example. Cactus was a CSGO pro and you all know how good he was. Number four, now this is a very niche one. If you guys know, there is an Arsenal competitive scene. And I'm not talking about the competitive in the game. I'm talking about Discord servers where you can play ranked 1v1s, 2v2s and basically anything you can think of. If I come across the servers, I will leave a link to them in the description. And number five, I don't recommend this one as much because it just simply takes the fun out of uh, FPS games like this. Aim training. A good aim trainer that you can use is Aim Lab. If you want to stick to Roblox, then you can just use Aim Blocks or anything else you can find. Aim training is a great tip, but I typically don't use it simply because I don't have time. Here you go, guys. Peacemaker. Another weapon. You can fire six times. All right, guys. If you are new to Arsenal, hopefully all of these tips helped you out to become a better player. And if you're a player who's been playing the game, wondering how to get better, then hopefully these tips help too. As always, we're on a mission to try and fix the Arsenal community and revive the game. So if you want to subscribe and stick around, that'd be amazing. Also, consider following me on all my social medias, which will be linked in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.